so hi everybody and welcome to this video we are in our path to do some UDP and in this DCL script I'm gonna create three nodes and it's gonna be in this node so here we have got a three node and let's describe the connection between N1 to N2 and N1 to N2 it's gonna be the same I'm not going to change anything right now. It's going to be from N1 to N2. Right. So now we basically set up um, a type of connection between N0, N1, and then N2. And here we are just saying that N0, N1 appears right side of N0, and then N2 appears right side of N1. So now we are on a process creating UDP. So let's change all this UDP, the new age, and now it's gonna be UDP, UDP, full cap caps. Then we're gonna uh, assign N naught to UDP, and then uh, now I'm just gonna call it as sync, maybe UDP sync, whatever sync, that's fine. So now I need to have null. Then here I'm going to assign sync to N2. I'm going to attach the agent sync to N2. That is the last node in our node list. And then finally, here we have our. Um, then we are going to connect sync with so UDP with sync. Yep. Here I'm just touching it with. Let's connect it with UDP. And now let's run our program. Of here we use UDP. We are using UDP agents. In last video we we just used TCP. We found that TCP was reliable. There was an error here. Send message. Yep. It seems to work, man. Let's see. Yep. See, um, I've just used F FTP uh, application with uh, UDP agents. Now it doesn't seem to work. Maybe FTP doesn't go with UDP. So FTP, maybe FTP connections are reliable. So that's why it doesn't go. So here we don't have our timeline constructed so you can't just use FTP with UDP so now let's generate a constant bitrate which we have never used so far it's in the place application slash theory FFIC and then CBR constant bitrate let's name it CBR and then here we well, let's name it CBR Oh my god, what did I do? Here it should be UDP and here it should be CBR. So CBR is an application, UDP is the agent. Hey CBR, attach the agent UDP. And I'm asking CBR to start. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. Let's run it. Let's go to one second. Now here we have our UDP message. So like it has some difference, right? Of course it has some difference. Now here we don't see acknowledgments. Even if the packet is lost, it'll be completely lost. It doesn't send the packet again. We'll see about packet losing in visually in um, next video. So in this video we just simulated UDP and this is how it occurs. UDP is it just works just like that. It doesn't acknowledge and it's a connectionless protocol. So unlike TCP, it didn't it didn't send a message. 
requesting it for a connection it just sends a uh, data like a data burst it just sends data like in the stream whether you receive or not i don't care i just i just got a command to send this data if you don't receive it's not my problem this is how udp works okay now one more thing i just want to say in this video you can just change the color you are tired of seeing black color here so let's just change the color and what you need to do is anywhere you can just place it can you here right here anywhere it's just fine we just say hey ns i'm just going to color my uh, packets so that we are able to differentiate when we use two more uh, like two or more agents in our single uh, simulation so I'm just going to say hey NS create a color and I'm going to name this class 1 and I'm just going to make it blue and it's going to create a class 1 for me then I'm, it's going to name it blue and now I need to set it to a agent let's set it to UDP so UDP hey UDP set class to 1 let's see whether this changes the keeper I recompile first here we got our norm file Yep, now here we see the packets flowing in blue color. So when we have two or more agents in a, uh, in a single simulation, we'll be able to differentiate about which package and which, from which agent is coming from. So this is how you color your packets. And in the next video, let's talk about packet loss and let's see in action like how a data is lost and how it falls off from this diagram visually right now in the next video we're going to make udp and tcp connection we're going to make two connection in a single simulation so catch you there bye from coding frost